What is going on you legends and legendettes of the interwebs? My name as always is Transcorvan and welcome to a different video today uh, but sort of relative to my channel and my childhood at the same time. As you guys may have recently seen on my channel I started getting back into the trading card game scene uh, what with Pokemon Online TCG and I've also subscribed to a lot of channels that I've started doing unboxing videos for trading cards as well. And so I thought to myself, what would be the most expensive cards you could ever imagine that a collector would just absolutely love to get their hands on? So this is what the video today is all about. I've collected some of the uh, most expensive and exquisite cards for you guys to sort of have a look at. But yeah, most of all, enjoy. Five. Number five is the Mickey Mouse trading cards from 1930s, I do believe. Yeah, from the 1930s. As everybody knows, Mickey Mouse is pretty much the front face of any Disney related products that you could think of. But in the 1930s, uh, a set of cards were released to uh, encourage kids to sort of start collecting just as something to do, really. Uh, each one carried uh, either a joke or a riddle, I do believe, on it. And then the other half of the riddle or the joke was printed on a separate card. So you'd have one card that had the joke on it and one card that had the pun on it. So that's actually quite a good way of, in a way, turning a profit, but getting kids to ensure that they collect that other half of the card. Uh, each card ranges, depending on vi uh, rarity, but it ranges roughly from about $25 to $100 for each individual card. And getting all the cards with the answers, the riddles, the jokes, just pretty much the whole set of cards will run up to about four grand in terms of you have the full set of cards, that is. And it's obviously in mint condition. And number four, number four is the Superman. Superman? Good one. Superman trading card game. Uh, this was from the 1940s and is about pretty much as old as, the, as Superman is. Again, obviously these would have to be mint condition cards and back in the day they would only cost about as much as bubblegum. Uh, single cards themselves can fetch up, you know, up to uh, several hundred dollars. But a full shot, full, oh my god, a full uncut sheet of 24 cards was sold at auction in 2010 for over $15,000. That is insane, considering it, obviously it's a bit, I would imagine it would be a big sheet of uncut cards with everything on them, and that's just insane. Uh, obviously, if you have the, the complete set of 72 cards from the 1940s, providing you have the set of 72 cards, mint condition, with absolutely no damage on whatsoever, it can range from twenty to $30,000. Number three. Number three is not nearly as rare or as expensive as the previous two, but this one is close to my heart, which is why it ranks in at number three on this one. And um, it is from the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. I grew up on this card, and I cannot believe I no longer have it in possession because I, it's, it's not even how much it's worth. It's just the fact that when you are so young and don't even know about how much things are going to cost back, you know, when you grow older, you have no idea what collecting actually stands for. You'll collect them for a few years and then they'll just be pushed to the side. And then someone could throw them away and you wouldn't even realise, the, in fact, the true value of such a card. So this one is the Cyberstein Yu-Gi-Oh card. My God. This is uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh version of... A Frankenstein's monster but back in 2004 this card was sold for $23,000 I don't even know why I mean it's just ridiculous the true value of this card is roughly three three hundred to five hundred dollars and I had two of these in my possession back in the day I have no idea where my cards are now and it's just a shit I wouldn't even sell them now but it's just the fact that I would have these cards in my possession Number two. Number two is again really big on my list. This was tied for number one, but number one it was just so good that it's that this card was pushed back to number two. Number two is the Japanese Pokemon trading card game. Oh god, this card. It is the Pikachu Illustrator card. This is the rarest Pokemon card to date that you can find. This card has never officially been sold and was never released in 
uh, the English version of the game. But the cards were given away uh, in contests and as um, sort of prizes in the Japanese tournaments. And there are only four uh, supposed to exist. And they range in terms of price again depending on condition and whatnot. But the maximum sort of estimated value of them, although they have never officially been sold, is $20,000. Uh, $20, I mean, the card itself is... It's, it's, it's a cute card, I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't say no if I ever had it in my possession. But that much for a card, really. I mean, it's just one single card. It probably didn't even help your deck that much. It would probably just sit on your shelf. That much for a card is ridiculous. Number one. Number one is the most priceless card anybody could ever ask for. Uh, there is a little bit of a backstory to this card. So I will just tell it now very briefly for you guys. Uh, a teenage fan of the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game was diagnosed with cancer. Uh, and then the teenage boy then beat the cancer. And thanks to uh, a Make-A-Wish Foundation and uh, four kids, I do believe, they arranged for him to create his own Yu-Gi-Oh! card. And as of which, Tyler the Great Warrior was forged from the flames and created. This is why this is on my list at number one, because it is the only one in existence, you know, ever created sort of thing. And truly, it's a, it's a beautiful moment, the fact that, you know, a, a card was given to this teenage fan to not necessarily use, but to remember him and show his support not only for the game, to overcoming such a powerful illness, you know, that obviously could have killed him. And it's truly a touching moment within the card game industry to sort of see that happen. And that's why this is at number one, because although it may be a disappointment for some, this card is literally priceless. You know, you cannot even sort of put a number on that thing. It's just the first and last ever printing of that card, and which is truly amazing. So guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did think of, or if you think of any other cards that you think that I might have missed from the list, bear in mind this is my own personal sort of top five ex most expensive cards. Please let me know in the comments down below and also what you think of how much a Tyler the Great Warrior would cost. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to check out my network Purity and our gaming channel which is in the link down below. Also don't forget our Twitch accounts which are down in there as well. And that's going to be it for today's video. So my name as always has been Chance Gorvan. Hit that like, share, comment and subscribe buttons. And of course be sure to check out my personal accounts from my Facebook, my Twitter, my Google+, Plus, my Tumblr and the Chance Gorvan Instagram which can all be found in the links down below. And until next time guys, I love your faces. Peace out. Bye.